Is your teen crafty? Does your teen prefer to use their hands while they're learning a kinesthetic learner rather than sitting and writing and reading all the time? So then I've got a new product available on Amazon that might be interesting for you and your teen. And that is a diamond painting kit that has been made available recently by Teaching Toys. Now, Teaching Toys is the new brainchild and venture of the gals who do hip homeschool moms. So you've heard of hip homeschool moms. They've been around forever. They've got a very popular website and Facebook group. And so now they're doing some educational toys. And this is one of the first things that they have made available. This is a diamond painting kit and I have one and we're gonna unbox this today and I'm gonna try it <laughs> and let you know how it goes. There are four possibilities for this kit. I think uh, there's a zebra and a lion and this giraffe, which I picked because he's super cute. There is one more animal. I forget what it is off the top of my head, but you see how pretty the colors are. And um, I, I have to do some true confessions here. I have already unboxed this box. I did it in my Facebook group, but the video quality came out really bad. So I'm not surprised to see what's inside the box this time, but let's pretend I've shoved everything back in there exactly the way it came out the first time. So you can see how it comes from Amazon. Basically, you know, in a big brown box and then you open up the brown box and you get this rectangular box out. And when you open one end, it all comes out as a coil, you know, the canvas is coiled and everything is inside the canvas, except it's not inside there <laughs> for me anymore. So I'm just gonna pretend, pretend this is all nicely coiled up inside the canvas. I'll set the box aside for a minute. So I'm just gonna take everything out of the canvas and show you the canvas first. Do you see my giraffe? Isn't he so cute? See all the tiny little squares? This is a diamond painting kit and you can see the key uh, over here. Here's the key. So all of these squares have a symbol in them, a letter or a number plus the different colors. All of that helps you determine which color you're gonna use where. Inside the roll, there is this tool bag. Mine has a little hole in it, but it's got tweezers. It's got this little tool. It's got this kind of plasticky stuff, this tray and oh, it looks like a gripper. So all of that comes in the little Ziploc bag. And then here are several Ziploc bags. You can see all their um, zippies <laughs> of all the different colors of beads or diamonds that you're going to put or your teen is going to put on this canvas. And then last but not least, there's a card that comes in the box and it says, please visit www.teaching.toys to download a free educational unit study to complement this learning with diamonds kit. So there's a unit study involved with this kit. I will take a look at that and let you know what that's all about. The other thing I'm going to do is try to do some diamond painting and tell you how it goes. The instructions for how to do it are here on the box, which means you can't lose them. So that's kind of cool. So basically you take a look at the key and then you've got this little tray here. Actually, I'll just take it out. Here's your little tray. And what you're gonna do is decide which color you're gonna start with and you're gonna get the beads, the bag of beads and put some of them in the tray. And then there's this stuff and I haven't tried it yet. So I'm not exactly sure how it works, but it's a sticky gel. And so you use the tool to get some sticky gel to get a bead and to put it on the appropriate place on the canvas. And let me point out that the canvas is covered in plastic right now, but when you pull the plastic away, it's a sticky canvas. So it's going to hold the diamonds on there. I'm excited to get started. Let me see how I can do that and also get a camera set up so you can see how it goes and I'll get back to you. Okay, I am here. I've got my giraffe set up on an easel. I don't think you would have to do that. I think normally it would be something flat on the table, but in order to show this to you with the camera setup that I have, I've, had to, I've put it on an easel. I'm gonna start up in the corner 
Here's the thing, I'm thinking I don't want to remove the cellophane or the plastic cover from the whole thing because the whole thing is very sticky. I don't want a bunch of lint and stuff landing on it. We've got furry animals and so there's fur, you know, everywhere. So I don't want any of that. So I'm going to start from the corner, I think, and work my way over. So I'm looking at color number N or color N. And when I go to the key, it says that N is number 23. And all the bags are numbered. See, here's number, uh, it's hard for you to see that. There you go, number 19. So I found bag number 23. It's a beautiful purple color. And they tell you to put the things, diamonds, in the tray and gently shake. And as you do that, I don't know if you can see this, they kind of go into the little rows. And the faceted part is up. And I think that's the way it's supposed to be because I'm going to grab it from the top and then place it on the canvas. So I want the flat part to be, go on the canvas. That confused me for a second, but I think I figured it out. So, and then, oh, and these little beads, they just want to fly around. Not, they're not beads, the little diamonds, they want to fly around. So um, definitely, I'm not thinking any younger than middle school on this. So I've got my, my little thing and I'm going to get some sticky Oh, neat, it just, it takes a little circle out. So I've got the sticky gel on my tool. Now I'm going to place it on a diamond and look at that. You probably can't see it. There's a little tiny diamond on my B. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna put the diamond on one of the squares on the canvas. It worked. <laughs> It stays put. You push it down and I guess the sticky stuff on the canvas is more sticky than the gel on the little tool. I'm thinking I can use this gel multiple times, which is why they don't give you a lot of it. But hey, I've got a bead on there. Not difficult at all. Just picked up another one, except I'll tell you, and they're not beads, and they're diamonds. Um, I'll tell you what though, they do fly everywhere. Like I got this one, but somehow my sleeve or something caught another one and it went flying. I'm gonna come back here. And put that right next door. But I can see where this would be extremely relaxing. And also fun to do, you know, if you're watching a uh, any kind of documentary or so because that's how to make it educational right is you're doing this while you're being exposed to something else maybe you're listening to Shakespeare during morning time or maybe you are there's a you know a documentary on and you don't need to necessarily see everything or um, an audio book or just in general there's something going on that you need to listen to but you don't necessarily have to pay you know all of your uh, eyesight attention there's there's a word there that i'm missing <laughs> um to the thing and you can you can do this instead it would be like knitting or crocheting except this is diamond painting and it really is quite simple there is nothing to it at all um i i'm gonna say i said earlier definitely teens i'm gonna say middle school middle school or teens as far as the actual project is concerned, I think teens would be great with that. I did take a look at the downloadable unit study in between uh, opening the box earlier with y'all and then getting this set up. And I'm gonna say that the unit study looks very appropriate for middle school. If you're gonna use it for high school, I would think that you might need to supplement a little bit or it would just be something extra for your kid to do, maybe as a supplement to something else. It, uh, it revolves around the giraffe. Oh, and the fourth animal is an elephant, y'all. <laughs> you go to the www.teaching.toys website and when you get there, they do ask you to register and put in your Amazon order number and then you can download the unit study and the one I'm getting is for the giraffe because I'm making a giraffe.
And I can see that they're gonna be a little sparkly because they've got the facets on them like a diamond. The underside is totally flat, but this top side has facets like a, like a diamond or some kind of cut stone, you know? And it's really quite nice. Ack, got that one off center. <laughs> I've never been an incredibly crafty person. I like to knit though. Oh, you can move them a little bit after they're on there. So that's good. So I think I have a big enough area to show you what it's kind of coming together like. Okay, so can you see my beads there? Right now they're under the cell it's diamonds, Anne. <laughs> and then see how they shimmer and shine and you can see how they're not exactly straight too but that's just me but can you imagine the whole thing covered with these sparkly things when it's done it's going to be glorious it's going to take a while <laughs> um, but that's a good thing I remember one time my mom gave me a project, something that she thought was gonna last me days and days and days, and I finished it in like two hours. <laughs> she was so disappointed. This is gonna last days and days and days. And I can even with my fingers kind of straighten things up a little bit. So yeah, see how cool that is? Amazon, y'all, teaching toys, diamond painting kit and then download the unit study, which is all about giraffes or lions or zebras or elephants, depending upon which one you want or which package you get. You know what, if you got four kids, <laughs> you could get all four of them. I think it's gonna look really pretty when it's done. Y'all, this is incredibly addicting. I gave my daughter the opportunity to put some of these on here. I showed her what I was doing and she's under the weather and just doesn't really feel like doing anything. So I took it back and you know what? She's not getting another chance. It's very repetitive and soothing and you just keep putting the bee, the diamonds in the little squares. They, they get everywhere. <laughs> I have knocked this little tray more times than I can count already. I've been working maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. And um, they do just get everywhere. But one nice thing about that is, is if you discover that you missed one from a color that you did a while back, there's probably one of them lying around on the table that you can just grab. The uh, tray has a nice little funnel I discovered for putting them back into the bag. I need just a few more here till I'm done this section. And then I wanna show you the beauty starts to really come out as the colors are juxtaposed next to one another. There's such gorgeous colors. And I, I can see myself finishing this and hanging it up right here in this office because the colors are gonna go so nice. Alrighty, there were a couple more colors that would be neat to put in there so you can see. But, can you see how pretty that is coming together? And, you know, see how sparkly it is. And the colors are very subtle, but they work next to each other really, really well. And so I think once they're over the whole thing, do you see how pretty that's gonna be? It's gonna be really pretty. It's gonna be really pretty. So I'm excited to have shared this with you today and definitely take a look for it on Amazon. Teaching Toys, where'd my box go? Oh, back here. Teaching Toys Diamond Painting Kit, and then you can download the accompanying unit study and turn it into an educational activity. And if nothing else, it's just gonna be something that will be creative and productive for your kids to do. Take them a while. When they get done, they'll have a sense of accomplishment at what they did, and it'll look great in their room. I'm really looking forward to having it in my office. <laughs> <laughs>